What's up, everybody? This is Little Ren, and I'm here at Anime Weekend Atlanta uh, 2015. And I am here with the wonderful, beautiful, super talented Linda Valentine. Thank you so much for coming well, today. Thank you for having me. Oh my gosh, have you had fun? I mean, it's already Saturday. Like, it's on this Thursday. This is yeah. insane. This is an insane, insane convention. I, I love your, it. I saw your Twitter post. It was just like, what is going on out here? Oh, <laughs> and it's like, so amazing. I can't believe, I have never seen so many costumes ever, any cosplay, I ever, in any of the ones I've gone to. And I've seen a lot. This is crazy. Every single person is dressed up, it seems. Well, you know and what? I walk down like this, right? <laughs> and everybody's looking at me like, what's your problem? Who's lady? this lady? Yeah. She, uh, she's the lady who you guys are definitely cosplaying out there because this is the English voice of Serena from Sailor Moon. Oh my God. Jeez. Super love and awesomeness. Speaking of love and, and all this stuff, um, so maybe you've heard this before and you, you kind of made it sound interesting. Your last name is Valentine yes. and you were born on what day? Not Valentine's oh, Day. Okay, so. I know, it's a lie. Every Valentine's Day I get all kinds of tweets and stuff saying, happy birthday, Linda. I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's a, no, it's not my birthday. <laughs> Very merry birthday. I know, but it is my day. Valentine's okay. Day is my day. I'm when your sure. last name is Valentine, that's what you go with. Okay, so I'm sure, I didn't just make this up though. Like, no, you but, didn't, everybody's so, got it. For some okay, reason, the so, internet decided they wanted to make my birthday that. My birthday is actually October 24th. It's coming up, what? so send her another birthday thing, because that'll be really awesome. Okay. I have two birthdays, I have no problem with that. <laughs> we all wish we had that. I'm good with that. Yeah, that's super awesome. Okay. Good to know. So you've heard that here on the Aficionados channel. Um, so let's get just into, um, you know, the, the voice acting, your, your career in general. You do a lot of um, television and commercials right now. But I guess what got you started on what probably is one of your most popular characters right now in the anime community? Sailor Moon. Yes. Well, I guess what got me started was an audition. <laughs> My agent, you know, they put out audition notices and say, okay, there's an audition coming up for Sailor Moon. And I was like, all right, I'm in, I'll do it, sure. And when I went to the audition, I was so sick. I was so sick. My voice was like, I was, just, I was losing my voice really quickly. I was like, I know I can do this. I know I can do this, but I'm so sick right now. I don't know what I'm gonna do. What am I gonna do? And I went to the audition room and you always know everybody there, right? You know, you go in these rooms, you're like, hey, everybody's here, my buddies. So you the last one. Yeah, so I decided, all right, you can't talk when you're in there because you've got to save every ounce of voice that you have left. So I go in there and I'm silently, what did you just give me an Oh no, that's sorry, Periscope. Stop Periscope. <laughs> Stop people who are trying to get my broad take my broadcast people away. <laughs> wow, wow, that was it. All of like five people away. Oh, oh cool, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is insanity. I know, crazy. We're, we're going There's almost as many there. cosplayers as there are people watching this. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> So anyways, I decided I was gonna save my voice and I didn't say anything. And everybody's sitting in the room, I'm sure, going, oh, Valentine, oh, what's her problem today? Oh. And so when I went in there, I still had a little, I had a cold, but I was able to somehow get the vo voice out there. And I think that that's kind of what I needed as well. And what were the, like, what were the lines? What did you say, if you, you remember? Know, funny because what they did was they showed, they showed a, a part of the show, and then I had to just mimic exactly what had been done. And that's, not necessarily easy for everyone, but it's pretty easy for me. So I heard exactly what Terry was doing and just went, okay, boom, did exactly what she did. Mm -hmm. And it was easy. And they were like, <gasps> oh, she's exactly like Terry. Oh, it's her. She is the one named Sailor Moon. That's what they said right there. Exactly. <laughs> but then when it came down to doing it without Terry giving me the lines, it was a very different ball game. Because suddenly I'm like, well, I don't know how Terry would say this. I don't know. And I was totally in my head, just totally messing with myself. And it took me a while to be able to just go, what, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing wrong? And, and they kept getting me to yell. Everything was yelling, and everything was like, wah, 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 wah. And I hated that. I hated it. Anime is a lot of yelling. Well, yeah, but it didn't have to be, right? And I was going, this is not what this character should be. And she's not yelling in this scene. Like she's sitting there being, you know, animated Serena, but she wasn't yelling. Yeah. But they would be getting me to yell, and that's what they thought was making me sound like Terry, which wasn't. And also, I wasn't Terry, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I had to get to a place where I went, okay, what do I want this character to be? Where do I want it to go? And that's when the character started changing, becoming a lot more fun and really goofy because that's to me what a teenager is. A teenager is a goofy kid in com combination with somebody who wants to be an adult, wants to take the weight of the world on their shoulders but doesn't know how. And I love that. That's my favorite part about that character. Yeah, and Serena, she definitely, you, you hit the nail on the head. She is, people are complaining, they're like, oh, I don't know, she's a little like rambunctious, I don't understand, but you, you're right, she's a teenage 
girl. And as you've seen from uh, Sailor Moon and a lot of other um, uh, magical girl shows that have like come up from yeah. that, um, that that's that's the that's what happens. Like you're you're 14, 15, 16 years old, and you don't really know. You think you're cool, but you're oh, not as cool as you, you know think you it. are. And just because you're the princess of the of the moon and the universe doesn't mean that you're like gonna be prom queen. So yeah, well, I think that you brought a really good uh, voice to that. And the funny thing is, right now I have three, count them three, <laughs> teenage daughters. Oh yeah, and my youngest, <laughs> who was actually uh, I think maybe one at the time, would toddle around behind me when I was doing Sailor Moon, and I'd always be losing my voice because she was screaming so much. <laughs> so I would walk around the morning going, woo, 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 woo. if I could do that noise, if I go, woo, 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 then I'd know that I can get it out. Okay, so I'd walk around the house doing that, and all I'd hear behind me is, oh. <laughs> I'd say, are you making fun of me? And she'd say, she was so cute, Aww. and now she is. Five foot ten, blonde hair, long blonde hair, and skinny as a little. I'm just like she's Sailor Moon. I know you. you I became gave her to Sailor Moon. <laughs> I, I mean, it happens. I, I mean, you, you tapped into that universe, and now of course it's it's, it's yeah. now in, into the world. Hi, Serena, that's adorable. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, kind of touching on that, we had talked about kind of like what it takes to be a teenage girl, but um, it takes a lot to be a magical girl and to fill that role and to be kind of this, you are the voice of one of the most iconic anime characters. Um, I know for one, like, side note, my mother, she will just say, if she thinks anything is anime related, she's like, oh, look at Sailor Moon. I'm like, wow, that's Power Rangers. Like, it's not even related. So, your mother. <laughs> I'm going to show her that. She's going to be like, What's yeah. Her, name? uh, her name's Elaine. Elaine? Yeah, not. she's you not there. Know yeah. what oh my gosh, not. Oh, what? There's hearts coming. Oh, Yay! Oh, that's my mom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's probably not. Um, but yeah, she'll love that because she's always like, yeah, Sailor Moon. So, um, but kind of bringing that up, uh, I kind of wanted to tap to another side and just say, you know, in this day and age, being a magical girl would take a lot of, you know, whether it's being a really good friend to somebody or also just being like someone who is trying to save the world. Do you know any modern day magical girls? Like whether in your life or just that you've seen just in society? Wow, 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 wow. You know, it's funny, for, it, for me personally, it's gonna be completely different for all the fans out there, but for me personally, a lot of the, ma the modern day magical girls are athletes. Because when I was growing up, there weren't a lot of sports that girls were allowed to do. Not so much allowed to do, but there was no organized sports for girls. Like, I grew up in Canada, so I love hockey. I love <laughs> hockey. But hockey was almost non-existent for girls. For a girl to play hockey was like, really? Uh, and yeah, you weren't allowed really to play with the boys and there was like like one team maybe. So I now I look at these, especially Olympic athletes, I am like this to Olympic athletes because they have got this focus, this drive, this determination, this strength, and they to me are that modern, modern day magical girl. And um, since you did bring up hockey, I'm just thinking, you know, Magical Girl's got her magical stick and they've got hockey sticks. Ah, magical am, hockey sticks. I am playing ball hockey now. <laughs> proud to say I'm playing ball hockey now. So you've become your own Magical Girl. That's basically. right. That's yeah. right. I okay. Am. See, again, we just went right in that universe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now we have to see an anime about magical hockey girls. Somebody make this happen, please, please. Okay. Yeah. All right. Put that out in the world. Okay. Yeah. See, you've already got a voice for it. Um, so. Thank you for answering that. That was that's super awesome, and, and I have to kind of agree with you as well. Um, I think a lot of athletes should be more role models for these for a lot of girls, girls and guys. Um, so, also wanted to ask. Um, oh man, I had this one really good question. Oh wait, that was the one I just asked. How many? How many do we have? Five. Oh, so, oh. Yes. you want to? Mason has a question. I do love sports and stuff. Um, I love anything outdoors, quite frankly. And I, my husband, if he's watching, would be howling right now because I hate camping. Correction, I hated camping. But just this year, I've fallen in love with it. I love going camping now. We just, we just literally last weekend came back from this awesome canoe trip. And it, we just had so much fun and I, and I loved it. And I just felt so rejuvenated. You know, those, there's those times when you sort of feel like, uh, I just let's just go through the grind. Let's just go through the day. And just getting out in the in the wilderness to me just makes me go. Yeah, yeah. everything's gone. Mm -hmm. You're just you and nature. You're one with what is supposed to be. Yeah, I love it. 
no concrete jungle. And I also love anything creative, anything that I can do with my hands. I would be the, I, I'm throwing this out there, I would be the greatest cosplayer on the planet. I would be if I was actually doing it, but oh. I'm not doing it. <laughs> if I was actually, Maybe I should do my own costume. Um, yeah, there are tons of people who work in the industry who are also cosplayers, and it's like, I mean, you get a sewing machine, and you'd be surprised what you could do. Crunches, though, I think. I've seen some of those costumes. I'd need to do some crunches <laughs> for sure. Maybe. I mean, the, the Sailor Moon outfit, like, kind of covers all, all that. You get, like, a cute there's little corset. Covering, there's covering, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I think you should definitely start it. So, um, you know, it's, so far it's been really awesome. Um, I'd like to know kind of a little bit more about... Um, some of the other work that you do in terms of just like, um, you know, obviously in Canada they have different TV and radio commercials, so we probably won't see you often there, but um, do you find your passion doing like the voiceovers is it mostly behind the scene and just voices, or have you done like stage work and stuff too? Well, I did a lot of stage when I was younger, and I went I went back to theater school. I, I, I went to theater school to begin with at university, and went for a year and went, I don't want to be a tree for the rest of my life. And that's how I kind of felt like that. Three, yeah, I know, there is that. That was a good tree, that tree number three. But so, so I started. I got an agent, started working right away, and once I um, once I started working, I worked for about three or four years, and I went, ah, I just don't feel like I have any direction. So I went back to school and went to theater school, and in this, it was a totally different theater school, and they had so many different courses. Voice was one of them, and I fell in love with it. I just, I absolutely loved everything that had to do with it. So that was sort of where I started following along, and once my voice career took off, I kind of didn't look back. I don't like doing on camera. I'm really hard on myself. And so I just sit there looking like, I, I will never watch this interview. Because I would be like, oh, my eyebrows are crooked or something like that. You know, well, my mom would do that. Yeah, you, Elaine, as long as Elaine is watching. Yay! Okay, so this is probably um, a common question, but you know, people watch Orange Station might not be familiar with uh, a lot of different voice acting things, and different voice actors have different responses. Um, what advice would you give to somebody who's looking to get into the industry? I would say, number one, get used to the word no. And I know that sounds really negative, but you literally hear no every single day. And it is really hard. That's the hardest part about voice acting. Voice acting, if you think it's the greatest job in the world, a lot of people do think it's the greatest job in the world, and you're right. It is absolutely, hands down, the best job, as far as I'm concerned. But when you're not working, it's the worst job. Because you sit there, there's nothing you can do. You sit there going, come on, phone, ring, ring. And I work a lot. I've been really, really lucky. But there's definitely been times when <clears throat> it's been dead and you're just not working. And it's, it's pretty soul destroying. So I would say get a really thick skin. Don't worry about hearing the word no. Because hearing the word no just means you're trying. And if you hear the word no so many times and you go, I am so defeated, one of the really important things is Make sure you always have somebody who's in your corner that believes in you. And if you have someone in your corner who believes in you, you can do anything. And there, was, there has been a number of times that I've gone, that's it, I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. I don't want to do this. I'm sick of this rat race. I don't want to do this. And my brother, my older brother, Rob, is one of the strongest ones for me. And he is constantly pushing me, saying, no, 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 that's just ridiculous. Stop talking, you crazy person. <laughs> You're gonna keep doing this. Yeah, We're gonna make you yeah, do this. My husband too. My husband is awesome that way. You just nope. Just keep going. You know, there's something around the corner, and there always is. So there I think go. that's wonderful. Was that a? Did you see what that question was? <laughs> you know, nowadays you don't necessarily need an agent. Um, nowadays um, you can go online. There are agencies online uh, that do casting right there, and what they'll do is you can sign up for it. Each day they will send you whatever is sort of in your realm, in your you know wheelhouse of what you might want to do. So maybe I would get sent, say, you know, uh, mom next door type of thing or something like that, like some character thing like that. <clears throat> They'll send you the sides, which is just like, you know, maybe the commercial or whatever it is. Sorry, one second. <clears throat> my mom losing my voice now. Oh, no. We can't we can't have her talk too much. Oh, She's yeah. gotta work. No. <laughs> and uh, then you'll audition for it essentially online. If they like you, they'll just go, okay, you're booked, and they'll record it right there and then. Or they might send you to um, uh, an actual studio. Who knows? But you don't necessarily need, need an agent. In Canada, I would say, yes, you do, okay. for the most part. But here in America, we'll say, well, here in America, you guys are like America cousins. I like cousins. Yeah. Up, down, upstairs, downstairs, neighbors. <laughs> so um, thank you so much. Thanks uh, for the question on Periscope. Um, we're out of time for this one, but oh my gosh, it's so awesome. Talking to you.
It's always listening to you talk. Um, you know, I hope that I can run into you again like throughout the weekend because, um, okay. yeah. You should have, I would have brought Toby here too. He'll be sitting upstairs right now. I'm like, Toby, come down with me. Um, so, well, maybe we can find him later and just be like, camera in your face. <laughs> so, that's been so awesome. So, again, guys, thank you for watching. Um, oh, we're, they're, they're coming in. They're breaking through the door. Ah! Um, you know, everything that you've said has been really awesome. And like we've said, you know, support the craft. It kind of stands behind that. If you know somebody who's trying to get their, their voice acting game on, they're trying to get the comic book going, their anime going, get in the movie business, um, you know, stand behind that person, be that person's rock, or, you know, find somebody who, is, the aficionados will be that rock for you guys, if you ever need, you know, send us a message. Um, comment down below, obviously, check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all those places that we're going to be having uh, this posted, and again, also on Periscope. Um, we're gonna figure out what that tag is to give you guys later, so. You can also contact me uh, at LA Valentine on Twitter, and if you have any questions, I will 100% answer them. Love yes, it. Definitely. Oh my gosh, it's been awesome talking to you again. This is Little Ren and Linda Ballantyne. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.